Okay, we're going to look at a couple of questions now where the question involves volume of a cone, but we're going to work backwards. Now, this could be to work backwards because you want to find the radius of the circle, the circular bit of the cone, or the height of the cone when you're provided with the volume of the cone. So, the most straightforward example of a volume of a cone question is you're given the radius and height and you need to find the volume of the cone. What we're going to look at now is you've been given the volume of the cone, but you need to find either the radius of the circular part or the height of the cone. So let's start with an example one, and we'll say that the volume of the cone is 250 cubic centimetres. We're going to say that the height of the cone is 10 centimetres, and the question is requiring me to find the radius of the cone. So the question is to find the radius. Well, the first thing that I'm looking to do, as I would do if I was looking to find the volume of the cone, is to get the formula down one third pi r squared h. This is a calculated equation. Now, what I know at this time is that the volume of the cone has been given to me, and that is equal to 250, so I can note that down. Now, what other information can I note down? Well, a third of pi times r squared, well, r squared is what I'm looking for, multiplied by the height. Well, we can see there clearly that the height is 10 is equal to 250. Okay, I can gather this all together then. So, the one third of pi times 10, well, I can gather that all together and bring it all down and divide. So, I've got r squared equals 250 over one third pi times 10. Okay, I can now take the square root. So that's the square root of 250 up top divided by down bottom one third pi times 10. And it's just about ensuring that you get that correctly entered into your calculator. So let's do that. And to one decimal place, that's going to give me 4.9 centimetres for the radius of that cone. Let's just go over how that was achieved again. So, the question this time provides me with the answer, if you like, which is the volume of the cone, 250, but it asks me to find the radius of the circular bit. So, the volume of a cone is given by 1 third pi r squared h, and we know that that's 250. Then put in some information, which is the height is 10, and I've got 1 third pi times r squared times 10 is 250. I then take the 1 third of pi times 10 and bring that all down and divide. I then get rid of the square by taking the square root. Enter it into the calculator carefully to get 4.9 centimetres. Okay, let's try an example two. Example two this time, I've got another conical shape. Okay, so it's a cone. And again, I'm looking to find the radius. So that's the thing that I'm looking for. I'm told this time that the height of the cone is seven centimeters. And I'm also told the information that the volume of the cone is 600 cubic centimeters. So remember that the volume of a cone is given by one third pi r squared h. I know that that is definitely equal to the information which is provided to me, which is 600. So the volume of the cube, or rather the volume of the cone is 600. Okay, but well, I know the height is equal to 7. So 1 third times pi times r squared times the height, which is 7, is equal to 600. I can then gather that 1 third times pi times 7 all together and divide, and that will give me r squared equals 600 over 1 third pi times 7. And that's just me gathered all that together and brought it down and divided. I can then take this square root, so getting rid of the square by taking the square root. So it's the square root of 600 over all in the denominator, one third of pi times seven, and enter it into the calculator. Okay, into one decimal place, that is 9.0 centimeters. I'm not going to square those units, so I shouldn't have done that, because it's just a length, so it's just centimeters on its own, 9.0 centimeters. Okay, let's try an example three. Example three, 
slightly different information given this time. I'm told that the length across here is 12 centimetres at the circular part of the cone. The height of the cone is the one that I don't know, so that's what I'm looking for, is find the height of the cone, but I'm also told the volume of the cone, and the volume of the cone is 300 cubic centimetres. Okay, so let's get the formula down again. So 1 third to pi r squared h. Now I know that that is definitely equal to 300, so that is 300. Okay, what more information can I put down and what I'm looking for? I'm looking for the height. Okay, so 1 third times pi times the radius squared. Okay, so you can see clearly that that line is the diameter, therefore the radius must be half of that, which is 6 centimetres. So that's 1 third times pi times 6 squared times the height is equal to 300. Okay, I can then bring this information down and divide it. So 300 over 1 third of pi times well, 6 squared. Oh, let's just evaluate that just now. That's 36. Okay, now I could enter all that in the calculator just now. I could simplify that though. So a third of 36 is 12, so that would be 12 pi, 300 over 12 pi. Let's now put it into the calculator. And to one decimal place, that will give me 8.0 centimetres, final answer. So let's just go over what I did there. Okay, so I brought the 1 third pi times 6 squared down and divided. Now, I could have written that and left it as 300 over 1 third times pi times 6 squared and let the calculator do the rest, which would have been fine, but it's good to practice evaluating some things and simplifying them. So 6 squared is 36, 36 divided by 3 is 12, and that's where the 12 pi came from. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, so this time I'm given a cone as such. Okay, I'm told that the radius of that cone is four centimetres and I've not been given information about the height. That's what I'm looking for. I have been given information about the volume. I'm told that the volume of the cone is 150 cubic centimetres. So the volume of a cone, remember, is one third pi r squared h and that is equal to 150. What that information do I know and do I want? Well, I know that the radius is four and I know that I want to find the height. So that's one third of pi times four squared h is equal to 150. h then is equal to 150 and let's gather this stuff down and divide. So 150 over one third of pi times 4 squared, well that's 16, so that's 150. Over, well that will be 16 pi over 3, and let's put that into the calculator. And to one decimal place, that is 9.0 centimetres, final answer.